In today's video, we have a full review of the walkthrough trap bar from Force USA. That's uh, what's in the box right here. Right after this. Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards, and yes, I'm leaning on the box of the walkthrough trap bar from Force USA. I've been so excited to review this particular product ever since I saw the preview on their YouTube channel and Instagram account, and now we have it here. I've been so excited. I realigned my workout week, so deadlift day is usually day one, so we can get the lower body out of the way, especially deadlifts are a little tough for me, just like squats. But I wanted to realign it's now it's going to be the last day of my strength workouts during the course of the week. So it should be very interesting because we're going to film a full workout going through testing this out, using it for the first time indoors and also outdoors because there's a couple unique features besides obviously with its namesake, the walkthrough part that you can walk in and out of it. Uh, there's also a couple unique features that I want to take outside Going to need a little bit more room uh, to do that kind of stuff. Uh, also, we have the Amazon uh, hex bar, trap bar, deadlift bar, whatever you want to call it. We're going to compare the Force USA to that. I believe it's a cap fitness uh, trap bar. So we're going to see what would be the better value because the cost is obviously that was around $90 at the time. This right now is a bit more than that. The price fluctuates here and there, but at the time of this recording, it's around $399. So sounds expensive, but what I've seen with many trap bars with similar features, it's definitely uh, you know a good value if that's something you want to do as opposed to straight bar deadlifts. Uh, but before we even get to the workout and before we go through all that stuff and I test it as I go, we have to unbox it. We have to assemble it, and we're going to go over some features as we do all that, including the indoor and the out. Now I'm going to jinx myself, by the way. I said outdoor workout, and it's going to rain, and I'm not going to be able to do it, but we're going to think positive. So before we even get to that, let's unbox it, and let's talk about the walkthrough trap bar from Force USA. So I just took the top off of the box of the walkthrough trap bar. I wanted to remind you, this is delivered via FedEx, not freight, so it's standard shipping. Not too bad. It came in less than a week. It was shipped out on Friday. Today is Wednesday, so a little less than a week. And especially during these times to have something delivered that quickly. I know it's not a guarantee, but it was kind of cool that it got delivered earlier than it expected. Uh, and here we have something that I really think it's great. This reminds me of the Myrac as well as the folding Myrac. Very little difference in the size of these bolts. So you have a bunch of bolts the same size here, a bunch here, and a couple here. They are Allen wrenches, and you have all your Allen wrenches right here, so shouldn't be that bad to put together. Uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can use some power tools, but you have all the tools you need right there. You also have the owner's manual with the instructions. Should be very light assembly compared to some of the stuff we have here in the home gym, but I hate assembling stuff, so let's make that clear right now. But if I don't mind it, then, then nobody will mind it. So let's uh, go through that. We'll, we'll turn on the cameras. We always do if something sticks out during the course of the assembly. So I just wanted to show all the parts, all the components of the walkthrough trap bar out of the box here. We have uh, another set of tools, some bolts, washers, and stuff like that. But like I said, all your tools and all your... Um, hardware is included right here. And I really do like that they pack it up like this. They also, on some of the equipment, they go step-by-step step with the bolts, if they're much different, grouped together. And I really like, that's a nice touch from Force USA. Another nice touch, no pun intended, is touch-up paint. So that's always nice, especially if you are gonna bring this trap bar outside or it's gonna be hitting concrete or a garage gym. That's really cool. These, the main frame, I know that much, the main frame of the walkthrough trap bar, we also have the sleeves here, Olympic sleeves. I believe these two here are your standard old school plates right here, but I'm not quite sure. So don't quote me on that. And some rubber stoppers, other um, equipment right here. So we're gonna go through this, assemble it. We got a couple pieces of hardware right here as well, but not that much stuff hopefully to put together. This is one of the few instances, well, gym equipment in general. I read the manual and I follow the instructions. I don't try to be like a guy. I 
follow the instructions and completely put it together as instructed. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So what we have right here are the pieces for the three handles on the walkthrough trap bar. Yes, there are three handles, and when we put it together, that's gonna be the uniqueness of uh, using this for different exercises. So these are the outsides of when we got to assemble it. I have the Allen wrench here, my Allen wrench, but it comes with an Allen wrench, and I'm also gonna use a socket wrench uh, to expedite the tightening process. And uh, you only hand tighten these right now. You don't tighten them all the way up, with most stuff of Force USA, like the MyRack, the, the uh, folding MyRack, a lot of stuff, don't tighten uh, through a lot, throughout a lot of the steps with the assembly. You do not tighten everything up because it needs to line up. If you tighten it up too too soon, uh, like completely tighten it, it might not line up in steps uh, down the line of the assembly process. So I wanted to put this segment very early on in the assembly video because these parts right here go in a specific place in order for the handles, which are later on in the assembly, uh, go. But they won't fit. If you just assume that everything is kind of uniform and ubiquitous, it is not. It needs to be as wide as possible to fit that handle there. I did it to where this was on the inside, and I thought, well, all four parts are essentially the same. They're not. You got to make sure that the bolts are on the inside and it's wide enough for the handles. So if you want to test it out before you start, uh, you know, bolting stuff down, by the way, that's another reason not to tighten everything up because when you make a mistake, you can uh, remove it uh, pretty easily. So I just wanted to let you know that that's something right there that you should be aware of. Same thing with the top handle, but that's pretty much this here with the top handle is a... Um, is its own piece. These four pieces appear to be the same, uh, but you gotta put them in a specific place. Hope this helps. So the handles for the walkthrough trap bar are twofold. You have this metal cylinder right here. It goes inside this very wide handle. You gotta make sure that it is lined up. And what you're gonna do is take a couple of these bolts with washers, line them up as well. Make sure you catch the thread there. I'm gonna get the other side here real quick, and then we can do that counter turn thing uh, that we did with the uh, weight sleeve and get everything lined up very nicely. There we go. And just do that together, and you'll get it all done. And like I said before, don't completely tighten it. It's just a little tight, and we got a few more to put on, but that handle has a nice little, it's, it's kind of like a hard rubber, but the knurling is uh, pretty good. It's not bad. It's not as deep as, say, you know, some of the barbells from Force USA, but you'll be able to get a good grip on that and not have it slip out of your hand. And it does turn, which is kind of cool, but if you get a good grip, you don't want it to turn. So good stuff. So it is the next morning. Uh, good morning, everyone. And it is time for our deadlift workout. We warmed up, walked on the treadmill, did some shoulder mobility work, even loosened our back up. As a matter of fact, we have the massage gun here maybe for between sets to start hitting my lower back. And also we have an app called Wendler Log. That's what I've been doing during this phase, uh, phase of my workout regimen. I'm gonna open that up. Now the thing is, this weighs 66 pounds. 66 pounds, which my first warm up set according to Wendler is 49 pounds, second is 61 pounds, third is 73. So what I'm gonna do is just get a feel for this one to two uh, sets of five. Uh, by the way, I haven't used this. I didn't even test it out. I tested out the functionality you're going to see in a second when I load the weights. It's pretty cool. But I have not deadlifted yet. And we have two different handles here. We have this one here and we have a very low one right here. So I'm going to start with this one because it closely resembles the one from my standard hex bar, although it is wider. My wife said it was very much uh, wide for her. So depending upon, I guess, your your height and length of your arms or the width of you could feel different. So I'm going to get a mirror too. I always need to get a mirror for this. Let's get the mirror so I can see how I do this. And I eliminate 50% chance of me tripping through the trap bar. So that's always good. That might be worth the price alone. Get down here. It's very, very wide. And I got to center my hands. That's the thing with some of these. One more. 
Now it doesn't feel bad at all. Uh, one warm up set might not be that bad. This is the cool part. I want to load some plates. So usually I would get either a standard deadlift jack or in the case with my trap bar I had before, I had these $20 deadlift wedges. I'm already got my heart rate up. So all I got to do here, just grab this handle, which I recommend doing it from the outside. I'm just going like that. Now I can load plates up. I'm going to go with some tens. 10 kilogram here, not quite, it might be a consider the working set, but who knows. Gonna film as much of the workout as we can. Once again, I'll just go here. Now, you can see the plates and the trap bars off the ground. Now you're gonna shorten uh, that. So you might wanna even grab the lower part. I'm still gonna grab this part. Now I'm at a kind of a standard deadlift with a trap bar height or depth, whichever way you look at it. Now I gotta see, I, gotta, I still gotta center this off. Two, three, four, five. All right, so just like any other uh, barbell, if you're not gonna load the plates up, it's gonna be deeper down there. Heart rate is up, wow. But it makes it even simpler that's the coolest part to me right there. The deadlift jack part of the walkthrough trap bar is just pretty cool. So I'm going to call maybe this my working set, possibly. Let's see. Yes, this will be considered to be my first working set. So I have here. So now I got to count 66 pounds instead of 50 on the other one. So I have 60 more pounds and uh, <laughs> do the math. And then I got kilogram kilogram plates, which I keep having to ask Siri, like how much is 20 kilograms in pounds? How much is 20 kilograms in pounds? That would be 44.09 pounds. Thank you, 44 pounds, 66 pounds, 110 pounds right there. So we're kind of a little bit more than what the Wendler log is telling us on the first set, but we plan on going up to hopefully as heavy as we did before. Feels good, feels really, really good. I might just put my weight belt on. Get a, little, get a little bit of support here. That feels very good. That actually feels great so far with the whiff. I thought I'd be a little bit off with that, but it's not bad. Pull that shirt down so I don't look like I have a gut here. There we go. So, all right, so now we got probably a two minute rest. Over here, we'll come back when that's done. Yeah, and do that. So even with the two minute rest, it makes it so much easier to just bring it up here and then load the weights that you need onto there. So really cool stuff. So even if I wanted to remove the tens, get them up here really quickly. I don't have to worry about even the deadlift jack because one of the the deadlift jack has to be on one of the plates, and then I got to lift up the trap bar anyway. This allows for very, very quick change of that. So I can add these 20s, even though I have 25s off camera, add them very, very easily. I really do like that. So you can change this up and then take the rest of the rest of the rest. Take your rest for the rest of the rest time. How do you like that? So I'm gonna go up and grab 15s. I got them on the folding my rack here just to offer some support to the folding my rack, which by the way is an amazing, amazing piece of equipment. Really, really good piece of equipment. There we go. Gonna keep as much of this workout in the video because I really wanna give you all an idea of just how cool and efficient this is so far. And like I said, this is my, really my first time using it. That's very cool. All right, we're ready to go. Let's go with this. I think I'm week three, so I believe it's three reps. I'm gonna go for three reps here. Ow, 
feel that. Reset, get my grip, feed. All right, so let's add tens right here for our big set. Like I said, we're gonna go up using what's called joker sets where we increase 5% or more on each lift. So get this, and this is gonna be for an am rep or as many reps as possible. So I'm gonna go for two to three reps and keep it at two to three reps for the workout. Cause like I said, I wanna go up I may not go up as heavy because I don't want to push it too far, and this, this does feel a bit wider, but it feels good right now. And we are almost ready to go. Step up into it and make sure my grip, especially on this weight, is centered. If I go all the way down here, it's very, very low. That's a, almost like a squat. Oh, this is almost like a squat too, but that's super deep. I'm calling it two, 35, 45 kilograms, 90 kilograms. What's 90 kilograms in pounds? That would be 198.42 pounds. What's no one though? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't. What's 198 plus 66? The answer is 264. Okay, that was 264 pounds for two reps. So that's good. So that's very good. So let's uh, get that up there. Uh, let's go for 200, well, five kilograms on each side. You can put the pounds on there, but I'm put five kilograms on each side. Once again, see, I can't load it. I'm so used to the other one. And I have 264 pounds, including a bar, how easy it is to pick up right there. We're going for a record, at least a record at 48 plus years old. We're going for a record of two. Let's see what it is. That's 10 kilograms, 35, 45, 50 kilograms on each side. It's 100 kilograms, 100 kilograms. How much is 100 kilograms in pounds? It's 220.46 pounds. 220 pounds plus 66 pounds. This sounds heavy. Here's what I found. Oh no, it hurt me. 220 pounds plus 66 pounds. The answer is 286 pounds. Okay, so we did 273 pounds last week as our, we did that for two, so. That's gonna be interesting. Oh, by the way, they do include collars as they do with a lot of stuff. I like these hex collars better. They include the, the squeezy collars. So you don't have to worry about collars either. So, they, so the trap bar comes with a pair of collars. 286 pounds. Oh my goodness. 286 pounds. What do they do? They tighten the belt up when they go? 286 pounds, let's see. And this, this grip feels quite a bit wider. And with my arm injury, if I don't feel like I can do it, I'm not gonna do it. But I felt good in the last, in the last one. So 286 pounds. Should have got my wife to take a picture of this. I'll hold it to see if I can get a screenshot for the thumbnail. <laughs> no, that's not the most important part. Well, if you monetize your videos, it might be. Here we go. Thumbnail, thumbnail, thumbnail. <laughs> 286. I'm gonna try 300. I felt pretty good with that. I did one. So let's add five kilograms on the dad. See, I keep it by habit. Now I have 286 pounds, like I said, without the, well, you count the uh, bar, but it's really the weight. And then just the leverage to easily get that up there and do that. And we're even going to remove the, the plates afterwards just to get that. So I guess when the red light's on, it's a good thing. So we'll rest and come back. 
this might be a three minute rest. So I'm just gonna bring this down and once again, easy and the bumpers are pretty quiet. I'm being pretty loud, but the bumpers are pretty quiet. So we'll come back and we'll see how much that is because that's over 300 pounds right there, I believe. What's 110 kilograms in pounds? 242.51 pounds. 242.51 pounds plus 66 pounds. The answer is about 308.5 pounds. Okay, I added that 0.52 or 0.51. This is 308 pounds, over 300 pounds. You know the last time I deadlifted over 300 pounds? That's how long. Whew. 286 felt fine. It actually did. It feels good. And obviously we have a trap bar. I know the weight differences between a trap bar and a straight bar. There's a whole debate about that. But this is a, you know, I'm motivated. I get motivated. I got motivated yesterday when I filmed and I was able to bench press pretty heavy for a couple, for a couple sets of a couple reps. So people like Luke Hawks, uh, Gene Snisky, Ben, Sal, Papadon, my wife, of course, my wife is at the top of that list. My cats, every bit of motivation and inspiration, everybody out there too, uh, to help me get this. So 308 point something. So I don't want to call it 309 because I don't want to go that way. I'd rather be more critical. So let's get to this. One rep, 308, 308, 309. Leave it in the comments. Should I say 308 or 309? All right. Whew. You get a little scared sometimes, but my arm feels good. Knock on something, wood. There you go. All right, now more important than ever with this, to make sure that my hands are centered, my feet are in a good position, you wanna take your time. It's only gonna be a single. There you go. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. So, I mean, the point of the whole video was to review the walkthrough trap bar from Force USA, but, you know, had a double benefit in this video because I ended up getting the most I've deadlifted in years and years and years, and I'm so happy to get that on video. I'm so happy just to get it. So. I really, really am grateful everybody was here uh, in some form or fashion to watch that. So now we're gonna unload it really quick. And I'm just gonna show you, cause there's a ton of weight here, efficiently getting the plates off makes it so much easier, especially after you're hitting a super heavy deadlift, you don't wanna have to bend over a whole lot and use, uh, you know, that's when people usually get hurt getting in and out of exercises, but this makes it super, Super easy to unload these plates. Get what you need. I gotta just get these bumpers up here a little bit. 15s will go back there behind the uh, the camera. And then 20s will go over here. Super, super easy. I am so impressed with this trap bar. I really am. A little bit different of a, a review video, but I wanted you to get the full experience of somebody using this for the first time. So I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, the Force USA walkthrough trap bar, right now it's just under 400 bucks. I really do believe, especially after that session, that it's worth it, uh, comparing it to the regular hex bar. This part here, the deadlift jack part. By the way, I did jinx myself. You're wondering, why aren't you going outside doing farmer's walks, farmer's carries? Because it is thundering, lightning, and raining out there. But before I go, this is also one-armed farmer's carries, and 66 pounds feels every bit of 66 pounds. And I'm assuming you go on the inside of the trap bar like this to carry it. So, I really, really cool. You know, this part here, I store it up against the folding my rack. So that's your farmer's walk with one hand, and obviously you'll do a farmer's walk with two hands. Like I said, just under 400 bucks right now, it's on sale. That price could change, so check it out. Also use the code Stevie5. Forgot to do that, because I'm just keep thinking 308 point whatever pounds. 
that's pretty awesome. Pretty excited. That's an awesome start to the day. Anytime you wake up and you can work out, it's an awesome start to the day. But when you can deadlift that much, not to my own horn, but man, I'm to be over 48 years old and be able to do something like that inspires me to just do more to really try to push myself throughout the day in all other aspects, forms, and fashion. Awesome stuff. But getting back to, to Code TV5. Go there, forceusa.com. You need to spend $500 or more to get that codes. Uh, can't think of the word. To use that code and it work, <laughs> make sure it works, you need to spend over 500 bucks, but you get to save a little bit of money. And also you get to fund content like this where I can review this stuff and hopefully help you make a more informed decision as a consumer. So uh, also, if you want cardio, go to DiamondbackFitness.com. That's the stuff we have in the cardio room. I am not going to do cardio after this because my legs are feeling it. Stevie 5 is the code at DiamondbackFitness.com as well. If all this equipment is too much or you don't have the space for it, go to StevieRichardsFitness.com. All the resistance band workout programs and videos are fully supported personally by me. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email me, StevieRichardsFitness at gmail.com. <sighs> Man, I feel more blessed than anybody else out there, but please have a great day. God bless each and every one of you.